are here at the Stephen Leacock Museum at Leacock Point on the shores of Lake Cuchasane, right by the Butterfly Garden. Way back in 2008, 10 years ago, the chair of the Canada Day Committee, Lane Scott, asked me would I plant a butterfly garden in memory of Pete McGarvey. I had planted four or five at that time. Uh, I actually have 15 now throughout the cities, city of Aurelia, but this one here I decided to do. So in the spring of 2008, I laid this out to look like a butterfly with the front wings there and the back wings here. And I picked the plants to be very special plants. I used some grasses to hold the moisture, but I have asters and goldenrod, the stiff goldenrod, the Canada goldenrod, the silky aster here, the echinacea. Uh, the best plants are over on this side. And we have here a lot of monarchs that are in the third generation. They're ready to migrate. They're going south and they're at the metal blazing star, the Astra spicata. I planted it here. It's a popular plant with butterflies. This here is wild bergamot, uh, an artificialosa, Oswego tea, a uh, relative in the back. And then we have the butterfly weed or uh, orange milkweed. Here's, uh, orange milkweed that's blooming, butterfly weed, uh, Asclepius incarnata. Butterflies really love these plants. You can see the Canada goldenrods in bloom now, but the stiff goldenrod will come, the asters will come. I've got it so that we're going to get different colors at different times. So right from early summer to late fall, we have a procession of a spectrum of trees that are blooming that are good for bees and butterflies. And now we have the gardener that's looking after this garden that I planted 10 years ago, MJ Crawford with us. So MJ, um, yes. tell us about this garden. You're you're hitting off the, um, the royal bergamot. There. Yes, I am. I almost want to leave it. It smells so lovely. I've been, because it's been such a hot summer, I've spent most of my time just getting the water to it, making sure it gets through the mulch and gets saturated. And then I've started to deadhead the echinaceas and started to deadhead the monarda. And I'm just so pleased with this plant. I would love to have this, nothing but this in my garden. I think this is beautiful. So we can see that the garden has done well over mm -hmm. the 10 years, but some are getting crowded. Yes, so we'll, we'll do some thinning and maybe put some other plants in in a good butterfly garden. So now with you looking after it mm -hmm. every week, um, we can sort of build this to even make it a better spot. But this is a wonderful spot at this time of year in late August, early September, to see the monarch butterfly before they head south to Mexico for the winter. It really is, Bob, and I want to thank you for planting it because everyone's enjoying it. Well, I want to thank you for looking after it because although we can put the gardens in, pollinators love them, it does need some help because some plants will squeeze out other plants and it needs that little help. So with with the two of us, MJ and I working together, we are going to keep this butterfly garden working for butterflies. Thank you. Thank you.